we now come to what happens to an equation if you change the pressure okay <coughs> so if i change the pressure if i change the pressure what happens to the solids and liquids yes nothing happens to them so that means any pressure change any pressure change is not leading to a concentration change no no for example if you have have a have have say sugar solution and you suddenly compress it what happens to the total concentration of sugar in inside that solution nothing happens now concentration so there is no change in concentration if there is no change in concentration no if if the temperature remains the same and then no concentration change fine then no even if temperature changes the the liquid expands by a very very minuscule amount right a very small amount so much so that 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 concentration does not go down okay so what happens the solubility goes up but but i am not bothered about that right because whatever is the solute inside the the liquid that is there now what happens what happens is 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 that if the concentration does not change in case of a solid or a liquid then what we studied earlier according to that nothing changes no nothing changes or does it if concentration does not change yes, and yes. and a particular equation is at equilibrium then what is going to happen to the uh, what is what is going to happen to the kc the concentration does not change so kc remains there so why will it bother to move here or there the trouble is only when its concentration goes haywire then only it kind of fumbles jumps to to restore it back that's what it is no so in case of a solid or a liquid they they do not get affected the concentrations of solid the concentrations of solids or liquids do not get affected or liquids do not get affected by by the change in pressure so in pure solid or liquid reaction nothing is going to happen okay does in pure solid liquid reaction no change is expected but what happens to the gases there the concentration does change correct in gases the concentration does change the concentration does change and hence hence the equilibrium will get disturbed will get disturbed okay but in the end in the end what happens it is the it is the concentration which starts acting 
okay so let us try to look at an example look at an example where carbon monoxide reacts with reacts with hydrogen gas so with hydrogen gas to give us methane and h2o try to balance it try to balance it if i write 3 here does it get balanced they are all gases gas 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 okay now you you have say say this thing in a in a cylinder with a movable piston and yeah and you suddenly compress the piston you suddenly compress the piston okay so the pressure goes up mm -hmm. fine suddenly the pressure goes up now what happens the pressure has to be reduced how does it reduce the pressure it decreasing, decreasing the volume no you have already compressed it try to understand to it was it was kind of this no 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 temperature is constant temperature. see the temperature reduces then a whole lot of chaos starts starts happening what the first thing is that the kc itself goes haywire you do not know where it will settle at least as of now you do not know as of, as yet you do not know where where it goes so you won't be able to predict in what direction should things go so the temperature remains a constant you suddenly compress this so say let us let us say you you bring the piston here you bring the piston here at this dotted thing now it will try to relieve this pressure how you are not allowed to take out gas what do you mean you cannot take out gases you cannot uh, the temperature is the same okay you cannot increase the volume you have you ha you have compressed it okay so n does not change if you take out the gases then it does not do anything you you it's like you you incinerate the you pierce the cylinder no they liquefy why how do you know they have reached the critical temperature and pressure now there are other ways i have told you you are ignoring you underestimate the power of pv is equal to nrt i am saying pv is equal to nrt this does not change r cannot change v does not change no, i oh, what obviously it cannot change we cannot change because you have compressed it you have reduced the volume you have reduced the volume so now you are not allowed to change it right mm. so how does this go down mm. only by change in n you did not say that listen n does not mean that the gas will escape you are not allowed to do even that you will not do even that the gases escape what do you mean if the gases escape what do you mean by that still in has to reduce how how here the four four moles or four atoms they form two they form two 
and here the nature does not matter only the number matters okay so what happens it will start moving in a direction in which the the number of moles or number of molecules reduces So if the pressure increases, if the pressure increases, the reaction moves in a direction so as to reduce the number of moles. In this reaction, in this reaction, one mole of CO and three moles of H2 react to form form two moles of gases okay gases So what happens? 4 moles, that is 4 moles become 2 moles. So the net number decreases. That is the net number of molecules decreases in the forward direction. So, the reaction proceeds in the in the forward direction. Get that point? Do we get the point? Fine. Fine. So that's how it will behave. If you reduce the pressure suddenly, if you suddenly pull it above, then you'll find so more of CH4 will form in this case. While suddenly if you pull it up, the CH4 will start getting converted into carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas back. There is no back and forward here, right? Just because you write something to the left and something else to the right, that does not make a sense, right? So it is kind of forward as well as backward nothing is a forward and nothing is a backward reaction now now you realize that correct it could be that a reaction has gone to a lot of extent into the forward direction that means a very small amount of reactants are 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 remaining but still there will be some amount of reactant always remaining we get the point so that's how it behaves on the on the on the change in pressure Fine? Okay?